Hey everybody, it's Sarge, and let's take a look at an ace tanker battle. Today we're looking at the Japanese tier 6 heavy tank. Believe it or not, the name's heavy tank number 6. I like it because it's a number 6 and it's a tier 6. Makes it easy to remember. You can currently earn this tank by completing stage 25 of the season 24. Tigers season pass. And as a point of interest, the Heavy Tank number 6 and the German Tiger 217 are pretty much exactly the same tank, other than a few different cosmetic changes, the shell speed, and signal range. There's not a lot to say about this tank. It's a tier 6 after all. It does have some armor, and it's got a pretty good gun. And we had an okay time playing it. It's not going to be a tier 6 that I keep in my normal rotation. It's not your typical tier 6 run and gun. It's heavy and slow and takes a while to get to the fight. We took it into battle 49 times. We had a high 61% win rate, an average 26% survival rate, and we're up to 67% on our first mark of excellence. Your top speed will eventually get you up to 40 kilometers an hour. The gun size is a good 8.8 .8 centimeters, also known as 88 millimeters. The reload time starting out 7 seconds, and that's going to feel a little bit slow for you, but you can make up for that, and it gives you 8.5 rounds a minute rate of fire. The gun depression is negative 8 degrees, and that's pretty good. The accuracy can feel bad and derpy at .38, and the aim time's an average 2.3 seconds. The Alpha Ammo is AP, and it works pretty good. It'll pin 145 millimeters of enemy armor, but it has a fairly slow shell velocity of only 773 meters a second. That paired up with the accuracy is what makes this gun feel a little derpy at times. The Premium Bravo Ammo is some good APCR. It'll pin 194 millimeters of enemy armor with an extra 49 more millimeters of pin over the Alpha Ammo. Your shell velocity's getting there. It's almost pretty good at 930 meters a second. Both the Alpha and Bravo ammo do 220 hit points on average per shot. Your base damage per minute coming out of the factory is pretty good at 1,885. We got ours up to 2,521, an increase of 636 based off of our setup. The overall armor on the heavy tank is not too bad. It can hold its own against most tier 5s and tier 6s that are using the auto lock, that are running and gunning and trying to get off as many shots as they can and not really focusing in on their target. But when it comes down to a tier 6 that's taking its time to aim at you or pretty much any tier 7 that's thrown around your way, you are going to lose some hit points and try and do something about that big old cupola on top. Hide it, wiggle it, I don't know, but don't let it get shot. Here's your detailed look at tank number six's numbers, the way we've got it set up with our commander and equipment. We got our reload time down to under five and a half seconds per shot, giving us a rate of fire of just about 11 and a half rounds a minute. And we also made a little bit of improvement to the accuracy, but not too much. It went from a .38 to a .36. Now let's get this tank onto the battlefield and see how it goes. All right. Runeberg. Let's see. I think the looks of it, we're top tier. We are. We're top tier. So we're going to go in hot and heavy. We're going to be a little bit of aggressiveness. And because there's two arties, we're not going to go out into the open area. We're going to try and stay in the city. Hopefully the artillery does not come down into the city. These low-tier arties, man, they can play as good as any tank destroyer, so we got to be careful. All right. So what we are going to do, see if we can get a peek. Looks like three or four tanks up here. Let's aim in, get a shot in there. We did not hit anything. We hit the buggy in the track. That Churchill 2, is that what that is? Or the captured Churchill 3 and the captured KV-1 just putting round after round after round into us. We're going to go ahead and leave this area because artillery has a direct line right here. And we're not going to give a chance to the arty to hit us. That's the mini goal. No arty damage. Got a Calliope over here. Right up the middle. Oh, oh. Man, they're all scattering. They're running now. They are on the run.
These city maps is about the best place for this tank. Not going to do good on any big open, open map. Get a little bit of a snapshot in there. Make sure we got our CQB, Close Quarters Combat Mini Map, going here. Let's see if we can side scrape and get some shots into the PZ4 Hotel. We did. Side scrape in Tier 6s, baby. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, man. I think that rock interfered there. Right there. Ow. Oh, I derped it. I derped it. Hit the rock. I was aiming. That wasn't my fault. Got a Tango 3488 coming in aggressively. Coming in to push us. Oh, we got some backup. We got another tank with us. Beautiful. Artie's got a line on this area, so we got to be careful. Got to get around this tank. I'm not sure if we caused that damage of 113 and it just didn't show up or somebody else caused that damage. Let's get another KO here. Number four. Let's keep going. We got two red tanks behind us. We're going to try and get away from them a little bit while the three green tanks behind us provide support. We're going to flank around a little bit. Both red artilleries are focused on us, looking at the same target at the same time. We're going to have to do something about the arties. Uh-oh. Light tank on the move behind us. One shottable. Get a snap in? No. <clears throat> Let's move to the right side here so the arties got less of an angle. Can we get a quick snap in here? No, he's on the move. He's moving quick. We got to be careful. Artie's going to see us and we're wide open to him. Oh, we're going to keep running anyways. We're going to keep moving because of the arty. Let's get another shot in there. Oh, we derped two auto locks. Come on, tank. <laughs> we want this fifth kill. I didn't want to stop and aim because we just got to get away from this toxic arty. It's, it's absolutely insanity. I think that was a heavy tank sitting there. We still got this light tank on the run. Quick snap. Oh, somebody else got it. That would have been a top gun. Uh, if we could have hit him with one of those two shots as we were on the move and came around the corner and hit that heavy, that would have been sweet. That would have been six kills. But we're at five kills. 1495 direct, 1485 blocked. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Yes. Three to four. Three to four. Oh, already in the open. Already in the open. Let's go undetected maybe and then get a quick snap into the already. Light tank on the far left, our green team. He's coming up the 1-2 line, so hopefully... Hopefully he'll flank around and cause some drama for the arty. He's got himself in a corner, though. If you look at him... He's up in that corner. He can't go anywhere. Slowly but surely... I got a feeling the Artie's going to come after us. I have it. Oh, we got a heavy tank very center of the city. What is it? A KV-85, half health. We got to watch our left side here. If anybody's coming at us, it'll be the Artie from the left. Yep, contact left. It is. It is. And I knew it. It was going to happen, and I wasn't ready for it. Not like 555 hit points in an Artie. We hit him for 235. We're going to have to hit him two more times to get a kill. We're going to have to hit him one more time after this. 216. Oh, man. I don't want to get killed. It's three to four. We got a chance of winning this. I think this is going to come down to that light tank. <clears throat> that light tank's got a lot of hit points left. Yeah. Oh, uh, we got our top gun. That light tank has a lot of hit points left. He's up in the corner up there. KV-85's down to two shotable for us. Hmm. Man. Two to four. 2496 direct damage. We blocked 1595, so I'm happy with that. He's full health. ELC AMX. Full health way back yonder. I hope our KV-85... 3488 can take care of their KV-85. One more shot. Just get him. Get him. You got him. 
Light tank. I hope a light tank comes out to help. Let's take a look at the KV-85. Can they blow him up? Blast him up. Here comes the tank destroyer. He hit the tank destroyer. The T-67. I think the light tank hit that shot. Because he's straight onto the light tank. I want to see what is the light tank doing. Are you taking a shot? No, maybe he did not take that shot. All right. Our 3488 got the kill on the T-67. Makes it 2-3. to three. T-3488, get a shot into that arty. Get a lock on him, get a pop in there. Pow. Good. 209. He didn't take any damage from the arty right there, but the arty is focused in and the arty is going to continue to hit him. If you could turn your track a little bit to the right so you don't get hit. Less of a target, don't get set on fire. All oh, beautiful. Good stuff. I'd say... I would say the favor is on the green team. We know they still have that heavy tank in the city, and the arty is up here somewhere. That that light tank really would help us out if he would come out there and get mobile. Everybody's kind of going into the corners. Everybody's up here in the corners. Light tank is still at Alpha 1. Hmm. I'm just seeing if my tank came back alive. See if I got a respawn. <laughs> All right, there you go. Get that shot in there. Side scrape a little bit. Go. You got to keep moving. That already's going to turn its gun on you, and it's going to focus in you here real quick. All right, here we go. ELC AMX 90 coming in. Big power move. Big Unicom slide right there. We got him. 3488 takes out the bishop. The heavy tank killed our 34. He did. It comes... Oh, I didn't know what happened there for a second. It comes down to the 34 on the enemy team versus our light tank. Our light tank's full health. He could take three, maybe four hits from that heavy tank on the red team, but he's running away. Maybe he's going to flank. Not sure what's going on here. I hope we get a win on this. Boy, this is a good battle. Coming down to the wire. Turn your gun. Turn your gun. Gun left. Gun left. KV-85's got engine racked, radio racked, tracked. Oh, he didn't pen him. I can't remember. Does the ELC AMX-90 not have a very good turret rotation? Is it only about 45 degrees? It might be. Because I'm not seeing any indicators that his turret ring is damaged or anything. So it might just be a goofy part of the tank. All right, here we go, baby. Get the kill. Oh. Huh. Gonna have to get a side shot in. A side or rear shot, I guess. That was two shots to the front of the tank that didn't pin. Hmm. Red tank's got four kills. But our green tank's got the mobility and the hit points. Kind of sitting down here. Way down here at the bottom. Way down on the borderline there. There we go. There we go. There we go. Get it. Get it. Get it. Please get it. Aim it in. Oh, come on. This is stressing me out. I can't believe that 34... Or, uh... Not 34. I can't believe that red tank hasn't taken a shot and gotten a hit. Both of these tanks are missing a lot of shots. Have I respawned yet? I have not. Alright. Let's keep watching. This has got me all flustered. I'm not sure what's going to happen here. The obvious is not happening. Three shots from the ELC AMX-90 not penetrating. A shot from the KV-85 not hitting the ELC. All right, here you go. Aim it in. Lower plate. What are we looking at? I want to see what you're looking at. Bobbing around, making me dizzy. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Side shot right there. Come on. Oh! Oh, thank you. Oh, goodness gracious.
Good job, Light Tank. That took a while. That took a while. We got MVP. Woo. Six kills, 2496 direct, 1595 block. There it is, baby. Boom, 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 boom. Man. That was a little sweaty one. And it wasn't even me playing. <laughs> Good battle. Good job. Good job, everybody.